Hey, we're back. <laughs> it's been a bit, heaps of photo stuff. Obviously, we've stopped the uh, Another Day, Another Vlog series, so I haven't had a chance to just have a chat to you. Uh, I've finally, I've been stuck in WA with because of COVID and border bus or whatever. Uh, so it's been three months since I've been home. So I've got home yesterday and I'm trying to get through stuff. I've got a heap of stuff to unbox and go through, which we're gonna talk about, which is fantastic. A little something different from the hikes and the photography. Um, but the big one is the old bag is going because I finally get to unbox my new Shimano V2 bag. So super excited about that. It's from the Kickstarter campaign. It's been sitting here since August, I think late August when it arrived. I think I was one of the first ones to get it in to Australia, but I couldn't get to it. So it's because I was stuck in another state. So that was pretty depressing. <laughs> anyway, uh, big shout out to Newer for my old bag, the Waterproof Pro, 100 bucks Australian, you can't beat it. It's for an entry level, if you're just starting out, I cannot recommend any other bag more highly than this. You can't go wrong for it. Entry level, pretty, pretty darn cool. Um, I'm getting a little bit of the more expensive gear coming in the new bag. Um, I've got an R6 coming, which is super exciting as well. I'm super pumped about that. Uh, I've got drones, I need a little bit more space. This is the only thing with this, it is a little small. So I needed to go up a little um, and we're going up to the V2. I've got the top of the range with the long uh, pack on the inside and we're gonna unbox that now and get into it. So let's uh, hit that intro and unbox this bad boy, the Shimano V2. It's won a heap of awards already. It's only been released for a few months, but already it's won a heap of swag of awards and it looks really good. Everything I've seen about it, I'm being excited. I can't wait to get into this and unbox it. So let's do it. Let's hit the day draw. Okie doke. Well, here it is. The, uh, the box. Let's unbox it. Shimano V2. Um, if you haven't heard of it, they've got a fantastic name in the industry. And, uh, well, um, been wanting to get one for a while and I've just saved up and I waited I was going to get the old action uh, action 50 but with the announcement of this bad boy uh, I decided to go with this one and I think I'm pretty happy I did a brand new series bag and uh, it's gonna have all the fruit and there it is now I went the black yep that's correct that's good, we've got a good start there. The black one, mainly because of the dirt and stuff, uh, the green really looks nice, and if you're not getting muddy and dirty, you know, do a lot of stuff with the red dirt out in, oh yeah, look at that. The red dirt out in the Pilbara, uh, having a black one's probably gonna be a bit easy. Now it's got, again, it's not a waterproof bag, but it's water resistant. And, bag across. There you have it. So let's check it around. Shimoto V2. I'm pretty sure this is the 25. V25. The 35. 30, V2 35. I knew I went the 35 litre. A, I wanted a bigger. So size wise, I'm just going to show you whoa, that we've definitely gone up a bit. Okay, in our, in our height. So if we look at that, definitely got some extra room in there. It's not the 50 would have been bigger. Again, that would have probably come up to here. It's a bit too big for carry-on, where I can still use this for carry-on, and I get that extra space I require. Um, myriad of pockets comes through. You've got filter spaces in the front, zippers, uh, they're like a clear see-through plastic, or PVC or whatever you call it. Um, high quality zips. Um, it's got pretty much everything you can imagine. Oh, I've got in here. Water bottle bag or filter bag or something. So, everything you can imagine. Now, these uh, side entry as well. Just unclip that. So, you've got side entry into your main case. And in here is another unit, internal unit that you can pull out. But you can also access that to get in there to get your filters out. So again, you've got some shielding here for waterproof, more storage, yet again, you can put filter cases, whatever you want in there. 
uh, it's just endless amounts of storage. Very, very cool. Uh, build quality, they've got a fantastic reputation. So I'm pretty excited about that. You've got a storage up the top here. More storage, it's just endless amounts of storage. It must have some padding or something in it. So, there's a little letter from Ken, I'd say. Ian Miller. Yep. Rain cover, extra straps. So you get a nice little storage pocket up the top there. Again, put your food or phone and stuff up in there while you're, while you're hiking around. Um, fully adjustable straps. Again, on, the, on your straps, you've got storage as well. Um, clips, loops for doing all these sorts of stuff. Uh, again, another, on the other side, you've got more, more storage on storage. And then inside that, you've got straps. So it's just a really well thought out design bag. Um, obviously, they've done a couple now. The Action Series did really well. And this is, I guess, a bit more of a travel series. So it's not more, not as much fully jumping in snow. I'm not gonna go through snow or anything. So waterproof, the Action X50 is probably a little bit better for like snow and stuff like that. But this is gonna be really fantastic as an all-rounder. Uh, fully adjustable, so you've got your heights, small, medium, and large. Probably going to leave mine on large, being a reasonable sized person, six foot one. Um, what else can I show you? Straps come off. Again, it's a access by the rear, which is important for me. We're going to be able to come in here. Get our internal. So I've got a nice sleeve in here, got that covered, and then inside here we have. Yep, so we've got our full internal box. I'm going to pull it out right to show you. Let me show you the space. Now I've got, this is the large mirrorless core unit. And I went with that because A, I like a little bit more space and I like to be neat and organised. So. You can see there what you get in there. So there's tons of room. So I can fit my 100, new 104, 100mm RF lens, the R6, the batteries, the other lenses, the drone, the spare batteries, all the normal stuff I would have, and lights, all the gear. It's gonna be really easy to do that. And you get a cover for that external on that too. All Shimoda. You can now buy these bags directly through Shimoda. Um, I do have a link to the website down below. It's an affiliate link just for a, a upfrontness. Um, and then inside the bag, what else have we got in here? Let's have a look see. So that will be your, I think that's your laptop section. Or was that through the top? No, we've got more packets. So that will then drop down as well in there. So it's just a ton of storage and it's a really good size actually. I'm just stoked I went to the, up to the 3500. And then your pouch comes through the bottom. That's that top pouch in there. So my laptop will fit in there, 16 inch. Have I got that handy? Let's see if that will work. So here's my 16 inch MacBook Pro. Very expensive bits of gear, which we don't want to damage. Um, and there you go, fits perfectly. So no dramas there, that will fit straight in there. So that's good and that's got plenty of padding on the back there. So that's well protected. There's a nice thick bit of foam, which is obviously onto your back. So that's solid as, so any drops, it's gonna give that extra protection for that, which is very, very expensive bits of kit, the laptops, and uh, especially in the other days, the Macs. The last thing you want to do is to damage that and then not be able to get any more photos out of your camera anyway, so very important. Rightio, so yeah, there you have it. The uh, You're going to be seeing this on the, the channel a lot more. Uh, it's the large 35 V2 35 litre Shimano in black large mirrorless uh, internal core rain coat 
65,000 pockets. I'm gonna have to work out where I'm gonna put everything. And uh, I am super, super excited about it. So I'll come back, I'll put the gear I normally use in here before we close off, and uh, then we'll, uh, we'll just show you a little bit how much I am gonna be able to fill in here, and then we'll go from there. Okay, see you shortly. Okay, Dave. Rightio, so I've just done a bit of an install, coming in this side of the bench. See me still? Right, so what have we got in here? We have, I've got my 16 to 35 Canon L. Big lens, big heavy lens. Uh, I've got my 20 RF 24 to 105. I have the RP. The brand new 100 to 400 on it, so long lens. Uh, it's got my three legged thing LE on there, so that mounts straight onto my three legged thing tripod. That fits in. Nice long lens, so beautiful. Got all my Nissi filters here. There, so we've got that, so plenty of room for that. Uh, one of the most important things with my hiking is my power bank, my Zendua Pro. So I've got that in there, my cords, that's all in there. That fits in easy. Uh, and then my drone stuff. I've got the controller and I've got the Mini 2 here. So that's perfect. And then I've got uh, one of my Nanlites, which is here. Microphone to go into the iPhone for when I'm doing my video. So that fits in. And then spare batteries. So in Australia, you can't carry batteries in your checked luggage. So you've got to carry them. So I've got to make sure I can fit all my batteries, like my power bank and my camera batteries, spare ones, and my uh, drone ones in the bag. So that's pretty important. So I've got a little battery battery pack there that can take the both drone batteries and I can fit my other two RP batteries in this end pocket as well. So that's good and that fits in there. So everything I want to carry, which I had to sort of wedge in, I guess, uh, in the last backpack, in the newer backpack, uh, fits in easy and then I've got all this extra storage all those pockets to carry anything else I might want to carry so on a day I'll probably take uh, I probably won't take this out with me carry it'll just be this will be just for my flying uh, setup I'll just take the filters I need out I don't put them into the pouches on the side uh, I'll only normally take a, a thousand and the 32,000 ND with me uh, generally and I will have the CP filter already on the lens like it is now. So that's pretty cool, but a ton of room. I just wanted to show you what it looked like with it uh, actually full of gear. This is my day-to-day -day carrying stuff. This is what I will travel. This is how I travel on a plane as well. I'll take this carry-on. Um, I can also, we've got, I've got a couple spare over. I can actually fit them in there to A, keep that from bouncing around the camera, and I can put something else here if I have to. So there's still a little bit more and then that all seals up beautiful so there you have it the shimano v2 35 liter uh, super stoked with that uh, it's been a long time coming brand new bag it's rugged it's reliable it's, the outer i think it's like a 600d nylon so it's gonna last me a long time and i'll get the value back on it so definitely uh, i know they are available i'm pretty sure in the shops now and i think they've even got some discounts for going on all the time so you go check them out we've got a heap of new accessory stuff as well filter pouches and bits and pieces again just check out the link below and go check it out uh, so yeah the brand new bag for the channel super pumped uh, a bit of a treat for myself I guess but it's something I use so much and I travel so much so it, the value add is there for me I'm all about adding value and this is definitely going to be one of those times I get some definitely get some my money's worth I think so congratulations to Shimoto for making a fantastic bag on all their awards they're currently getting for this bag and the other models there's smaller ones down so if you don't need as much gear here if you're running a micro four thirds or a hem 50 or something like that you probably won't need as much space uh, you can go down you can get smaller internal core units as well you can go to a medium and a small so you can maybe go halfway for a little lightweight setup for just when you're going out hiking and then have, have a space for clothing and food and water bottles and stuff like that. So there's plenty of options. Go check them out. Without a doubt, I think the best backpack on the market. I honestly can say I shopped around for at least a year looking at every backpack, all their pros, their cons, 
and this one has all pretty, I can't find really a con on it. It is a little bit expensive. Um, it's not a cheap bag, but it's got everything I wanted and probably a little bit more than what I wanted. So it gives me a little bit of room to grow. So super pumped. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the Shimoto V2 35 litre bag. And uh, yeah, you'll be seeing this bad boy on the channel a lot more often now. Okay, you See you on the next video. Peace.